Take a look at the two images that I'm putting up on your screen right now. The first image is of the broken and smashed Chinese observation post at Patrol Point 14 off the Galvan Valley a day after the bloodshed took. And seven days later, the picture on the right-hand side of your screen, which shows you that the Chinese have returned there in even bigger numbers. They've set up camps. The pink things you see there are the camps, the tentage, the tarpaulins, and even a gun position in that particular area, which means far from being just an observation camp, they have set up a full-fledged defensive post at the very location that sparked the brutal bloodshed of June the 15th. What exactly is China up to and how is India responding? That's our big focus right now. India today has accessed these satellite images and we're going to tell you the truth about them because this is about Indian national security. Now, not for a moment do I want any of my viewers to believe that this is some kind of situation where we have ceded territory. This is the Chinese who've come across the line of actual control. They're sitting in the exact spot where a clash took place on June the 15th. I have reported that in greater detail than anyone else. But the Indian army has also mobilized. And that is something you can't see in that picture. Here's the full story. One week after they defended Indian territory with their lives, one week after they made the supreme sacrifice, and on the very day the two sides agreed to disengage in the Galvan Valley, this is what the Chinese have done at the site where the June 15th clash began. Satellite images by Maxar from June the 22nd clearly show the Chinese have returned to the contentious area that sparked the bloodshed a week earlier. Let's first show you the sequence. This was the Chinese observation post spotted in May, roughly 20 meters inside on the Indian side. A day after the Galvan bloodshed, this is what was left of the camp. Clear signs of debris. The result of Indian offensive actions on the Chinese post, which had clearly violated the LAC and pledges in talks. Put the images together and it's clear, the camp was destroyed and burnt. But now, precisely a week after the bloodshed, this is what satellites see at patrol point 14. Four pieces of tentage, defensive walls and even an infantry gun position. Considering it would have taken time to build these structures, it appears clear that the Chinese have been docking disengagement while doing precisely the opposite. Zooming out even further, the Chinese mobilization at Galvan becomes even clearer, with military vehicles, troops and earth-moving equipment clearly seen literally at the line of actual control. The Indian side has not been taking any chances either and has been building up its own forces. And once again, while the satellites were doing their work on the 22nd of June, it was India today that reported the reality to you first. On 22nd June, we reported how more than a thousand men from both the sides stood extremely close to the line of actual control on the either side, separated only by a few meters. This happened days after the bloodshed in Galwan. And now, latest satellite images and inputs from the ground confirm what we reported. The question is, how did the Chinese continue the build-up when the talks between the two armies were going on? It's important to note that this was the situation on the day the core commander level meeting was on. All eyes will now be on whether a pledge to disengage will follow through. With Ankit Kumar and Abhishek Bhalla in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Abhishek Bhalla live with me from Delhi, Gaurav Savant live with me from Leh Ladakh. Uh, Abhishek, quickly coming to you first, your story on the 22nd of June stands completely confirmed by this particular image. You had specifically reported that just days after the bloodshed on June the 15th, there had been a massing of troops on both sides and this image shows the very site where the clash actually began 
the Chinese have come back there, they've set up posts. Shiv, between the 16th and the 22nd, that's uh, around a week, you know, just after that clash on the night of 15th uh, June, uh, the Chinese uh, continued with the build-up, uh, they enhanced their troop deployment, uh, they, they brought in uh, some machinery, heavy vehicles, and this was matched uh, by the Indian Army, and there was a show of strength, as uh, we have reported from the Indian side, and there was a mirror deployment, and that's the reason why uh, that, uh, you know, uh, patrol point uh, 14, at the Galwan Valley where this clash took yes. place still remains an extremely volatile place as the build-up from both the sides even continues as of now when there has been talk of a disengagement after the core commander level talks on Monday. Okay, Gaurav, a very, very crucial point that you're bringing out that brings you the larger picture here. While Chinese treachery and the Chinese build-up in the Galwan sector and that precise patrol point 14 is something that was expected, even though these images are quite shocking, your input is that the Indian army is in a commanding position at Galwan. We have the heights in Galwan, we're controlling the valley, and there is no question of the Chinese taking this any further. Oh, absolutely, Shiv. I've spoken to sources in the army. Uh, Chief of the army staff, uh, General Manoj Mukundaravne, uh, he's in Ladakh. The army commander, General Y.K. Joshi, he's in Ladakh. They've, they've toured this entire area and they've got a ground assessment uh, of virtually every bit, every bit of the 800 odd kilometers of the line of actual control in Ladakh and India is in a commanding position. So if we were to specifically talk about patrol point 14, Patrol point 14, there was a discussion. The two co-commanders, uh, the, the two generals uh, from the Indian and the Chinese side, yes. they've decided on a mutual withdrawal. But after India was stabbed in the back on the 15th uh, of June, India's clearly taking no chances. So while both sides are to move back 900 meters or a kilometer uh, from, the, uh, from the place, India is in a commanding position around this area. They're watching the Chinese. The Chinese are building up on their side of the line of actual control, including building roads. But from what sources tell India today, Shiv, it's a very narrow gorge. And should uh, a situation arise and the Chinese try to cross from yes. that side, we from a commanding position would ensure that they're not able to cross over into our side. And right from north north of uh, you know Ladakh, uh, Shiv, yes. you know this area, Depsang Plains, where the Chinese have tried to come in in some places. The Indian Army in a mirror deployment has held them back at the line of actual control. Yes. And the two remain in an eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball confrontation right from Depsang to Demchok. Absolutely. In, in just a couple of minutes from now, I'm going to get you the first visual evidence of China trying to mobilize in a big way in the Depsang sector in an attempt to actually create a new standoff area, a new flashpoint. We know about Galwan Valley, we know about Hot Springs, and we know about Pangongso. And now we can tell you that there are indications that the Chinese want to create a new face-off site in northern Ladakh in the Dolak Beg Oldi and Depsang area, as Gaurav just pointed out. Uh, Gaurav and uh, Abhishek, stay on with me. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.